thank you, Winton, for that inspiring speech. Um, hello, everyone. I am Lucy Liu, and I'm your Masters of Ceremony for tonight. Thank you. I'll just warn you in advance, I have no jokes. No jokes. Jerry Yang will be juggling in the uh, lab over there next to David, who will be giving massages during the intermission. Um, we have an incredible program tonight. We have inspiring speakers, and we have a wonderful film to show you. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about ADARC. Um, it is, we're all here to support it tonight, and it's approaching its 20th year, and in a very short time, with the scientific efforts to reshape the epidemic, um, ADARC has been perhaps the greatest contributor uh, of fundamental research in the field. I'm gonna tell you a few of the breakthroughs, just in case you're, um, you'd like to know a few of the facts. They demonstrated the dynamic nature of HIV, proving that the virus began multiplying rapidly after infection and through the onset of symptoms. They suppressed HIV to undetectable levels for the first time launching the era of combination antiretroviral anti therapy, the so-called triple cocktail, which gave millions of patients a second chance at life. Now, this, this cocktail wasn't invented before this time, so it is really something uh, to marvel at. Uh, they identified a second receptor for HIV known as CCR5, another entryway that the virus uses to enter a cell, which led to new medications with improved treatment outcomes. And more recently, they discovered a molecule called tetherin that prevents HIV and some other viruses from spreading. Now, such a fundamental discovery will undoubtedly lead to better tools to fight HIV and other viruses. Simply put, ADARC redefined our understanding of the virus and transformed the course of clinical care for patients who would otherwise be without hope. I can tell you from my experiences with UNICEF um, doing the different field missions that I have around the globe that in a space that is, would, we would consider maybe a little shed in the back of our yard, which is considered most of their hospitals, and they have absolutely nothing. They're dirt floors, um, there's not even potable water, but what they do have in their shed is, are these cocktails that um, ADARC has developed, and with, with that, they are um, mostly given to them by the Clinton Foundation. So the combination of the two tonight is pretty phenomenal to be here um, to present those two. Um, Today, some 75 ADARC scientists in laboratories right here in Manhattan are working to deepen our understanding of HIV's fundamental structure and function and to develop better tools to fight it. Improved medications, new prevention strategies, an effective vaccine, these are the challenges that the scientists at ADARC are working on today. I would now, it's my honor to introduce Dr. David Ho, who is um, the scientific director and CEO of ADARC, the Irene Diamond Professor at Rockefeller University. David is a very personal and close friend of mine, and um, he's, a, he's a tremendous ally for the 33 million people around the world who are living with HIV today. He came to the United States from Taiwan at the age of 12 um, with degrees from Caltech, MIT, Harvard, UCLA, NYU, and Rockefeller, he was very well prepared for the challenges of HIV. Um, when he came to New York in 1991, he came to help Irene Diamond build ADARC, and he was just 37 years of age. Um, David still has his boyish charms, um, but it's, it's his formidable skills in scientific inquiry, team building, and resource development that have kept ADARC at the forefront of the AIDS research for these past 20 years. Um, please welcome Dr. David Ho.